Hey gang, and welcome to your first step to becoming a Flutter Ninja. Alright then gang, so first things first, what is Flutter exactly? Well, Flutter is a mobile UI framework and we use it to create native apps for iOS and Android devices. Now those apps that we create, they're all gonna get access to platform APIs like the camera or the microphone. And the great thing is, is that when we use Flutter to create these apps, we only have to use a single code base. And then those apps, they're gonna run on both of these different operating systems, iOS and Android. Now that single code base that we use and create, that is created using a programming language called Dart. And we're gonna learn all about Dart later on in the course. Now, there's loads and loads of different benefits to using Flutter to create native apps, but I'm just gonna run through a few of them right here. So first of all, like I've already said, we only use one code base using that Dart programming language. And this is really good because then we don't have to write a separate code base for iOS and a separate code base for Android. Then when we come to update something, we don't have to update it twice, just once, just one single code base. So that's awesome. Secondly, we can use a good layout methodology when we use Flutter borrowed right from responsive web. So you're gonna find it really easy to make clean and responsive apps that are gonna suit many different device sizes. So that is awesome. We're also gonna get a very smooth and a quick experience when we're running these apps. And it also works really well with Firebase as a backend, which as a Firebase fanboy is a brucey bonus for me because I absolutely love implementing Firebase into a lot of my different websites or apps. It also uses Dart, like I've already said, which is a really easy language to pick up if you already know the basic principles of another programming language. And we're gonna see Dart later on in the course. It uses material design out of the box, so your apps are gonna look awesome without you even trying to make them look good. And finally, there's some great docs and guides on the Flutter website as well. So if you do ever get stuck, just check out the website. It's gonna be really, really helpful to you. So then my friends, this series is gonna essentially be split up into two different halves. In the first half, we're gonna learn all about the basics of Flutter, and we're gonna also create a couple of really simple dummy apps. And then in the second half of the series, we're gonna put everything together that we've learned, plus a few extra pieces, and we're gonna create an app which looks something like this. It's an app which tells you the time in different locations or different cities around the world. So right now in New York, apparently it's 1.57 p.m., but we can change the location. I could go to somewhere like Nairobi, and we see it's 12.57. In London, it's 10.57. And if we go somewhere like Seoul, then it's 6.57, and it's also night, so we get a night picture in the background as well. So this is ultimately what we're gonna be creating in this course. Now, before you go any further, I do want to make one thing crystal clear. This course is for developers who are completely new to Flutter and to Dart, but not completely new to programming in general. I would recommend strongly that first you have at least a basic understanding of another programming language before you start here, or at least a good grasp of programming principles in general. Now, in Flutter, we use a language called Dart which is pretty easy to pick up if you already know another programming language, whether that be JavaScript or Python or something else, to the point where you understand what classes are, what functions are, variables, asynchronous code, APIs, and other building blocks of programming in general, because Dart uses much of the same building blocks. So if you are comfortable with another language or programming in general, then you should be fine picking up Dart as we go along and I will give you a very quick primer before we start too and we'll pick up the rest as we go forward. However, if you're completely new to programming in general, then this is not the best place to start your learning path. I would advise you to start by learning the basics of programming first, then come back here to tackle Flutter. Now, if you want to learn another programming language first, you could either learn Dart, which is what we'll be using in this course by going to the docs online, or even checking out tutorials for Dart. Or if you wanna check out something else, I have playlists for modern JavaScript on this channel and also Python as well. So I'll leave those links down below so you could check out the basics of those first, then return here. Now, for the rest of us, let's get cracking with this course. So to create these Flutter apps, I'm gonna be using Android Studio. And the reason I'm doing this is because we can install a couple of nice packages which are really gonna help us when we're creating apps with Flutter. 
Now you don't have to use Android Studio, you can use your own preferred text editor like VS Code or something else. The choice is entirely yours, but if you want to follow along exactly as I'm doing, I would advise you strongly to download Android Studio right here. You can get it from this address, developer.android.com forward slash studio. And I will leave all of these links down below by the way. Okay then, so next we need to install Git. Now, Git is a version control system and we use it for tracking changes to our code. You do not necessarily need to know how to use Git for this course. It's always good to know, but it's not essential for this course. We just need it on our computer because Flutter depends on it and we'll use it to install Flutter. So make sure you go to this address, git-scm.com forward slash downloads and download it for your operating system. Make sure you download this and install it before you go to the next step, which is to install Flutter. So if you go to flutter.dev forward slash docs forward slash get started forward slash install, again, all these links down below, you can choose your operating system. I'm on Windows and then it's gonna give me a guide on how to install this. So first of all, the system requirements and you can see down here, Git for Windows is a requirement, which is why we just installed it. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see down here, get the Flutter SDK. This is how we install Flutter onto the computer. So what we're gonna be doing is using Git to clone a repository onto our computer. What that means is basically getting a load of code from the Flutter GitHub and then putting it on our computer. That's essentially installing Flutter to our computer. What it does say is that we don't want to clone this into any kind of directory that requires elevated privileges like program files. Instead, just do it directly into the C drive in some kind of folder like source. Now I've already gone into my C drive right here and created this folder. That is where I am going to clone the GitHub repo to. So all we need to do is copy this dude and then we're gonna use CMD or command prompt to install this. So the first thing we need to do is navigate into this source folder right here because this is where we're gonna install Flutter. So I need to get to my C drive then inside the source folder. Currently, I'm in C users Sean, so I need to CD up a couple of levels, so CD dot dot, that means change directory, then change directory space, and then go into the source folder. So this is where we wanna install Flutter. Now I'm just gonna paste in that line we copied from this website over here and press enter. That is gonna clone that GitHub repository from Flutter to our computer. Okay, so once that's installed, we can open up this Flutter folder inside the source folder. And now if we go down to the Flutter console, if we run this, we're gonna get this Flutter console right here. So what we can essentially do now is run Flutter commands inside this console. And what I'm gonna do is say Flutter doctor. And this basically runs a little diagnostic for us on Flutter and make sure it's installed correctly, I suppose. Now, when you first run this, it's gonna take a couple of minutes and that's because it's checking the Dart SDK version or rather downloading Dart SDK. And it's just gonna take a couple of minutes before it gives you some feedback. All right then, so once that's all complete, hopefully at the top, you're gonna to get a green tick to say Flutter is installed and we have a version number right there and also Android Studio if you've installed that as well. So hopefully those are green ticks. It doesn't matter so much if these are not green ticks at the bottom. We know now we have Flutter installed on our computer. Now at the minute, Flutter can be run inside this Flutter console, but it might be that if you try to run Flutter elsewhere on your computer, it doesn't work. For example, if we open up another command prompt and press enter, if you try to write Flutter right here and then say, for example, the version, so double dash and then version, this might work for you, it might not work. If it does work, then you don't need to do anything else. If it doesn't work, then you're gonna need to edit the path variable on your environment variables so that you can use Flutter elsewhere on your computer. You can see right here, this worked because it told me what version of Flutter I have installed. But if it doesn't, then just go down here, type in ENV, and then click edit the system environment variables, and then go to environment variables right here, and you want to double click this path one. So inside here, you can see I've got this one, which is C, source, Flutter, and bin. So that needs to be there in order for us to use Flutter elsewhere on the computer. And that's why it's worked for me over here in the command prompt. If it didn't work for you, then just click on new right here. And then inside this space, just type in 
C, then the colon, and then the backslash source, backslash flutter, backslash bin, or whatever directory you installed it to, okay? So once you've done that, click OK to add that, and then we're gonna cross all this off. I want you to close your command prompt, and then try this again, flutter, space, double dash, version. Then it should work. So now we have flutter installed on our computer. The final thing I want to show you in this video is how to get all of the course files for this course because I've done course files for every single lesson. So they're all on GitHub and you want to go to this address right here. This link is going to be down below and the repo is called Flutter Beginners Tutorial. So the way I've done this is that every lesson that requires code in this course has its own branch on this repo. So you might get here and look at this and say, well, there's no code in this repo. But if you click on this branch, then you're gonna see all of these different lessons right here. So if you wanted to see the code for lesson 20, then you click on the lesson 20 branch and you can go into the folder to see the code for this lesson. Now, if you prefer, you can just browse it this way or because we now have Git installed, we can use Git to clone this repo onto our computer. And we can do that by going to clone or download and clicking this button right here to copy the address of this repo. Then you just do Git clone and then this repo in whatever directory you want. If you prefer just to download a zip folder of each different branch you can do, just click on download zip right there, okay? So there we go, my friends. That is your introductory video. I really do hope you enjoy this course. And if you do like the videos, please, my friends, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. And I'm going to see you in the very next one where I'll explain exactly how Flutter works.